Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and retirement worth having. When I'm yawning through the beginning of my cast, it shows you how tired I can be. But when people interfere with your health care in a way that's not their job, not their right, and not their opportunity in life, other than to be evil people in the world, I have to apologize. But not for me, for them. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth of what's gone in our life. And I'm about to tell the story of the love life that I never got. The story of the woman that God planned for me who failed me. And openly, it's my right to tell that story. It's my right to tell you of the heartache, my right to tell you of the heartbreak, and the right to tell you of how a heart lost her connection to the Lord. My heart, as a man, belongs to me. Your heart, as whatever you are, belongs to you. But when God plans for you, it's not wise to be unplanned with the Lord. You see, when you're unplanned with the Lord, when you're outside the house of God, you don't recognize what the satanic force can do or what God's angels can do to protect you. You see, God's angels can skew a face so that you can't even see someone that you're supposed to know. God's angels can put someone in disgrace because they failed to listen to God today. Why does the Lord do this? Does the Lord do this to humble us? Or does the Lord do this to teach us not to play in the satanic realm of harming people, sassing people, harassing people, pissing on people, and really abusing people?